Hey guys, Sasha from NetbookNews.com with the Sony Tablet S. Actually, it's still on one of my favorite Android tablets because I really like the design, how you can use it, and I definitely love the screen. But today, as you can see over here, hold on, there's a system update available to Android Ice Cream Sandwich, actually Android 4.0.3. And just to give you an idea how things changed, what I would like to show you, this is a very customized desktop right now, but this is running Honeycomb. And uh, as you can see, uh, the performance is okay, right? Uh, it has this very customized interface uh, as soon as you go into this app overview. But what I would there you go, you saw a little bit of this kind of, I wouldn't say it's a hiccup, but the animation wasn't that smooth at all. I did some benchmarks um, on the Honeycomb 3.2 right now, so this is a new quadrant and it came up with 2076 points on the new quadrant. And let's take a look at the Antutu results, here we go. Um, I'm actually almost in the same league of the LG Optimus 2.0, 5,000 points, so that's not too bad. What we are going to do right now is uh, we're finally um, making the update. Actually, I've already uh, downloaded it. That's what I thought. Um, but I guess I have to download it again. And then we're upgrading to Android Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.3. We'll do the same benchmarks again. I will give you a little walkthrough what might have changed. And uh, okay, it's downloaded. Let's do the update. Uh, it needs to have an AC power. So I'll be back soon. So we are back and the update, obviously, successfully. So let's check it out. Make yourself at home. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're getting all of this. Um, well, first of all, it seems that it also took over my previous home screen. Everything um, looks good, but I can immediately tell you that the performance is better, at least on the desktop, right? You can see there's no stuttering anymore. And uh, let's take a look at the apps and widgets. Okay, choose some apps. I'm getting all of this. Oh, so this also changed. Um, this customization from Sony is a uh, little bit different right now and it's kind of switched over to this vanilla experience from Android Ice Cream Sandwich. Right. It still has this white background, but besides that, how about putting a widget on the screen? Let's see how, if that works. Let's hold it. Put it on here. Perfect. And Sony has a special feature of uh, when you're holding the screen. No, that doesn't work anymore. You could do a kind of quick, oh, there we go. There it is, this kind of quick swipe by just holding, having your finger pressed to the desktop. This only works once. Hmm. Anyway, sometimes it works. Um, let's see what else is new here. Let's take a quick look at the settings. And here we go. So yeah, let's change a little bit. And this should be Android version 4.0.3. Looking good. And um, yeah, we still have this. This is uh, the Sony customization that I really like. Um, besides that, uh, I think we should run the benchmarks again. It was about 2047 points at the Quadrant benchmark. And uh, let's do this once more and we're back soon. So here are the results of the Quadrant benchmark and it's about 200 points more than uh, the result that we got on the Android Honeycomb 3.2. Sony Tablet S. Let's take a look right now at the Antutu benchmarks and we'll be back in a minute. The Antutu results are in. It's uh, 4,969. Again, we've been running the benchmark for three times and it's slightly less to what we've seen on Honeycomb which was like uh, 5047. But whatever, the overall feeling and um, the performance on the desktop is definitely improved. Oops, just opened an app here. And it makes me want to use this device again. Uh, because again, it's still one of my favorite tablets. One thing that I need to point out are these little two icons here. 
these are new. We've already had these quick launch icons that you can, that you can uh, customize the way you need them. But over here is a little icon that opens uh, a little quick launch bar for the browser calculate and remote control. Let's see if we can set it up. Yes, you can definitely. Let's see if we can move one. Oops. Now I've created a little folder. Can we? It doesn't look like it. There should be a way to customize this. Select the shortcut application. Well, anyways, you have this mini shortcut bar over here right now. Ah, uh, you know what? That's what you're doing. See this? So, um, you can move one of these shortcut applications over to the middle of the bar. Okay, so I think that's about it. What I can definitely tell you is that the system itself feels uh, a lot zippier. And you can see these very smooth animations over here. Um, let's see if there are any new widgets. But I don't think so. So, to be honest, if I compare this to the ice cream sandwich update uh, from Samsung, for my Samsung Galaxy S2, I think Sony did a bloody good job with it. Um, so that's a first look at the new ice cream sandwich 4.0.3, that's what it was, there you go, for the Sony Tablet S. I'm Sasha from NetbookNews.com, thanks for watching.